section with the Guardian. Paul, we can't go another day without another AI chat bot being announced. AI taking over, and this is the concern, I think, here. Not in, in some terrifying way, in a technological way, uh, an industrial way. The UK needs to support the creation of a British version of chat GPT. Which why? is the, Well, this is it's a, such a good point. I was trying to find why. I think it's just because... We're British and we feel like we need to have skin in the game. We need to be part of it. This stuff is being developed in the States and around the world as already. As jealousy. So, oh, the other countries have it. We've got to have it as well. We don't, need to, we don't have our own Microsoft. We don't have our own Google. No. I'm not sure why we need this. I think one of the reasons people believe we need it is because uh, the guy who is um, Adrian Joseph, which is the Chief uh, Data and Artificial Intelligence Officer for BT, he thinks there's a risk that in the UK we lose out to large tech companies in areas like cyber security and health yeah. care and things like that. So it's about being self-sufficient again. Lewis, I don't trust all this GTP <laughs> stuff, AI. I don't like it at all. I don't like the fact that the questions you ask it come back in a really partisan way. So yes. it's, it's sort of moulding sort of the, the yeah. scope of acceptable thought. Yeah. Am I just being a Luddite? No, you're being totally, totally correct. And that's why this thing is complete, complete ridiculousness. Because America's getting the head start in controlling our lives through lying to people using this chat GPT thing. Yeah. Sure. As, as, we've all, as we've all seen it. And who, who is supporting this whole business about Britain having a, their own sovereign GBT Yeah, why do we need thing? that? Exactly. Why don't we just have Tone a GBT? I mean, is it the accent? It's got to have a British accent? I don't even know how this stuff works. It's it feels to me this is a bit with Guardian's spin on it. I'm not, okay. I'm not entirely sure this is us saying we must have a Brit GBT. I think what we're saying is we need to be up in the game with AI because well, well, it's going it's to take not, over. It's actually it's the, it's, it's, uh, the chief data and artificial intelligence officer at BT, from, uh, BT is the one who's saying He's this. been advising um, Jeremy Hunt recently in oh, terms of investment me. in... So th his name keeps popping up in stories over the last few days and I, I'm putting two and two together. I think he's becoming a bit of an, an advisor. Yeah, I think it's a bit scary, this. But we're going to move...